Yo, my name is Benjamin and in this video I'll highlight what's new in the January update. Starting with our layout tools. I'll select rows, one of the stack presets. If I draw this on an empty part of the page, I get two frames by default. And the same is true for the columns preset. I get a horizontal stack with two frames. If I were to select columns again and draw it on top of these existing layers, fully containing them, the stack tool is now smart enough to wrap around these existing layers, making these presets useful for more than just designing from scratch. We've also updated the gap and padding controls you get on the canvas. On hover, the gap areas are now made visible, the tooltips are now tinted as an extra visual indicator, and these controls no longer hide when gap is set to zero. So you can now fully control your spacing from the canvas. And all of these updates also apply to our padding controls. I'll quickly make this an auto sizing layer, and then I can simply start dragging the padding handles to add some padding, and holding shift distributes it equally across all sides. Combined, we believe these changes make stacks more flexible in daily use. Finally, let's talk about the new video shortcut we added to the layout menu as well. You can find it here right below image. And when selected, I can click and drag anywhere to add a video to my page at my specified size. So if I now give this a preview, you can see we have an auto playing video here that we could then further customize through the property panel. This makes it easier than ever to add videos to your sites. The January update includes many bug fixes as well. One in particular I would like to highlight. If I add an appear effect to this video here, I can now right click anywhere on the property to either copy, paste or remove it. And this will work for any property. For everything else, be sure to check framer.com slash updates. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for more updates coming soon.